Hey, I had some questions. So I caught a mouse and she turned out to be pregnant. I left for two days and somehow she managed to get out. <laughs> and now I have four little orphan babies. Okay, so I feel like I should start at the beginning. I live in a cabin in the woods. There's just, there's mice, it just is what it is. I don't like killing them, I just don't. I don't wanna wake up to that, you know. Dead animal in the kitchen, no thank you. So I use um these little live traps. I haven't had mice all winter, and this was the first mouse that I caught this spring. She was in the trap, I thought it was a he, and I thought he had a tumor for sure. And then I realized that, oh wait, I think this is a she, and oh wait, that tumor is kicking. <laughs> oh my God, you're so cute. That day it had snowed a ton and it was freezing. So I didn't want to release her yet. I was gonna wait till the snow melted the next day. So I put her in a little terrarium cage. Lo and behold, she ended up having her babies. Oh my God, she's having her babies. Oh dang, I can't just put these babies outside because any change in the environment I had read would disturb the mom, make mom traumatized and stressed out, and then she would either abandon her babies or eat her babies. And so I was like, well, if they're gonna live, I have to keep them in here. And she was fine. She was eating really well. She seemed like she was raising the babies just fine. <laughs> it's true. Has been replaced. <laughs> oh my god, Matt. She doesn't even care. No, I think she's over it. Oh my god, they're like forming. <laughs> they have ears and they're bigger. They're definitely bigger. It's like a little salad I left you. You're eating a blueberry. Getting your fruits and veggies in. Little hands. Oh, she's like, yeah, look at this big strawberry, as big as I am. It's oh, like, sure. she's like me. Mac and cheese. She's like, we don't need help, you kids. <laughs> mm, no way. Matt and I ended up going on a little weekend getaway for his birthday, and my neighbor boy was helping me out, just coming by, checking on them. She had been very good at climbing her water bottle. So I think somehow the water bottle got pushed to the side of the cage. And so she squeezed in between the water bottle and the wall of the cage, I'm sure. I had a book over the opening. And so she must have nosed that book up and scooched out and never returned. Matt and I got home yesterday. I for sure thought they were dead. Then I picked up the cage, looked inside, and the babies were all moving and squeaking. Okay, somehow the mom got out of the cage. I don't know where she is. And the babies are still alive. She's not in here. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I've been Googling. I have literally nothing. I'm gonna try feed them. So somebody said you can do egg yolk. See if they'll take some of this. Oh my god, I think it's eating. Then we had the dilemma of what to do, honestly, because, I mean, would she come back for them? How long had she been gone? How long do we have to freaking save them and then there's the issue of you know if we if we grab them and hold them we're putting our scent on them and apparently that will make the mom reject them she won't recognize them as her babies because once i like touch them and stuff like the mom won't come back and take care of them and i need to just decide if she's like out of the picture or oh my god i can't believe she just left them not a very motherly move oh my god why aren't you drinking what do i do I don't know, Hannah. This is an eyedropper's too large to feed a small baby mouse. You will need a tiny syringe with that in mind. The paintbrush must be enough like a nipple, maybe. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to learn how to care for these tiny little infant mice. <laughs> okay, Matt made a hydrating solution. Wow, really likes it, Matt. Wow. Oh, I have a little more 
Yeah, get hydrated. Can't believe she just abandoned them. Look at him. He's doing it. Odds are they only poop in their nest, not when you are stimulating them. They oh, so they just need a little bit of stimulation. When you massage them, but rarely poop. These mice probably had like maybe a 1% chance to live. Think of like the time when we had to have come home oh without them already being dead. She had to just left or something. This one seems so much less developed than the other ones. It's a runt. Yeah. I think this is, she left them and then smother. Oh my god, that's so cute. Where are you going, my little friend? Oh my god, he's really moving. He's like, I'm finding mom. You guys wait right here. Oh my god, look at them. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You nuts. Look, he followed them. I decided I have to take care of them. So that was the executive decision. I didn't want to wait and see if she came back because she might kill them. She might abandon them again anyway. And they might die before she comes back because I don't know how long they haven't had food. So that's how I made that decision. And now here we are today. I'm winging it. I'm flying by the seat of my pants. I might have made some bad decisions along this journey. This is my first time with pet mice. The one thing that I was most concerned about was they know they carry hantavirus. Yeah, yeah, it's in their poop, the particles. I guess the one thing is I'm, I'm trying to figure out if I should exclusively be using gloves when handling them or... I think you should be good to pick them up as long as, you know, you're not touching your face and yeah, just you're not washing. touching other things. I think just washing your hands before and after. Okay, sweet. That's That was my biggest concern because the gloves have been getting... I feel like that just freaks them out, so... Good luck with your uh, little mouse baby. That's <laughs> kind of awesome. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Bye. Here's what I've been doing. I drove all over. I drove to my little town, like, gas station. They were closed. <laughs> I drove to the bar. They thought I I was crazy asking for a to-go cup of milk. They didn't have milk. And then I drove to my neighbors and they gave me like a little container of their whole milk that they had, which is not what babies are supposed to eat. It's been a very temporary solution. <laughs> wow, I'm stressed out, can you tell? I think it's working though. I feel like they're, you know, they're still alive and kicking. Anyway, I'm gonna put this in the microwave and then I'm gonna feed them. I'm gonna pick them up with my hands for the first time. Just don't touch your face, Hannah. <laughs> They were super cozy and quiet, but they've been really rambunctious lately, moving around a ton. But they grew in their little fur too. They're not pinkies anymore. Okay, little one, you're first. Hi. Yeah, it's a warm hand this time. Oh my God, he's so cute. So I was up every two hours last night doing this and they've been kind of off schedule, I think. Gosh, you're cute. Excuse my really dry hands. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're so cute when they eat. This is the runt. I'm kind of nervous for him. At least way tinier than the other ones. Oh my gosh, good job. I think they're nice and toasty in here with the heater right next to them. But I would like some heat coming up from the bottom of the cage. Howdy. I'm jazzed as heck right now and I will tell you why. I came in here the other day trying to figure out like, oh, what could I do? Maybe make a more comfortable cage for them when they need more space. And I looked at this nice Ikea coffee table that I've been had. I just, I don't know. I haven't used it in a long time. I was thinking I might get rid of it. So instead I bought plexiglass because I'm going to just uh, put plexiglass around the edges and make a wire top and make a nice big mouse cage. Here's the thing. It's cold in here. So I'm going to bring it into the other cabin. You're coming with me. This is amazing because I cleaned, so I know where things are now. Everything I need is in here. What was that? Oh my god, you came off. Oh, it's chilly out here. Let's get this done. You look promising. Huh. So nice to pick you up without you falling apart. Simple things in life. I have no idea where to start with this. I read that you can cut plexiglass. I think it's called plexiglass. I'm gonna clean it first. Okay. <laughs> so I guess the first thing would be to cut out this size. I'm 
my nonsensical measuring method. Oh, we're back in here. myself and hopefully I'm not wrong because we don't have any more. You're gonna be fine. I'm scared. This is the moment of truth because I really only had one shot at this. Oh my god. It's the right length. Oh. It's pretty much perfect. Cute. Yeah, you did it. You're following through on your vision. I'm doing it. I got Gorilla Glue silicone because I watched one YouTube video skip to the end and the guy said that it was the best one. That's all I needed to know. So I cut these little wooden pieces down. They fit like perfectly. This plastic piece had something to adhere to on the top. And then also I could put the wire attached to that. Plus I think it just blends in nice, which is always fun. So I got this stuff at my local hardware store made for animal and pet cages, chickens and rabbits, but it's galvanized metal. So mice won't be able to chew through it, which is important. I don't know how I'm going to cut it yet, though, so I might ruin a pair of scissors. Wouldn't it be fun if I had the right tools? Make and do! Just bend it over and over and over and over again? Yeah, baby. Oh my god. This is take forever. Ow! We're going two at a time. Holy mother. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be really cute. Oh. Just trim it, Hannah, just trim it. things holding up other things right now. Good morning, folks. Last night I finished up the cage. I am all caged out. It's been a long process. I'm very excited to start putting things in it. Oh no. Oh, it's gone. I have a woodpecker. Oh, just peed on the side of my house. It's really creepy when you're home alone and it goes Durr. I bought this like soft paper bedding. It may be better than the wood chips that I've been using i got this and i'm going to uh put it in the big cage that i made and i mean now that i can pick them up and move them around i'm gonna start working on it and transfer them in there i think oh it seems so much softer i wish i had a cage like this and mom was around what do we think kiddos i'm gonna make them a little nest with tissue paper. Let me get you out of the mix. They can settle down then. Come here. There you go. There you go. Good job. There you go. My goodness, you are a mess. Jeez, come on up. This is our little runty. Baby, you gotta stay still. Come on. Some of them are so much more ticky than the others. Like they're so Take tiny. He's full now. Imagine that at one point in time we were this size. <laughs> okay, I feel like my life officially revolves around feeding these babies. It's like all I do. <laughs> okay, so I've switched methods because 
Well, I saw Matt doing this last night. He fed them for the first time and he had a good idea. Anyway, he had this idea to um, put a little milk in the palm of my hand, which I wasn't sure if you were supposed to do, but he did it and it seemed to work. And then I was actually Googling today and I read online that it's actually better to do that because then they can just suckle it off of your hand. And I guess a lot of mice die from asphyxiation. They're so rambunctious when I pull them out of the cage. They just seem like they want to be moving a lot. But yeah, so I kind of just do this for a while for each one. And it looks like he probably wants to go take a nap. So I'm going to put him back in. It's been a morning with the mice. I've just been feeding them. I gave one or two of them a little bath because they're getting full of milk. Um, okay, I fed the I fed the little ones. I was looking at their cage, and I know that they like barely can walk yet, but I think I'm gonna try make a mouth wheel. And try is the operative word there because uh, I have no idea what the plan is. I'm gonna try make one out of like a thing. A wood. A wood. <laughs> Well, we're gonna see what, what I can do here. Hiya! Uh, it's so nice out. Oh. How was work? Good. Good. How are you? What are you up to? Oh, I'm trying to hollow out a stump. I'm crying. I have to admit, I don't know what I was gonna do about this. I don't have, I don't know how, how I would go about hollowing this out. I don't know. But I do have wood glue, so it's gonna be like a little arts and crafts day. Also, I'm outside barefoot for the first time. <laughs> I'm so excited. It feels so good. I miss walking out with no shoes on. I finally realized that I'm an idiot in more ways than one, but in reference to this monstrosity, I'm just dumb. I forgot that wood glue exists, even though I've literally been using it. So I'm gonna go get my chainsaw out and you'll see, you'll see why I'm stupid. I'm making this wheel today, but it's the last thing that I do. And I'm not taking my pajamas off either. There are so many things I'm questioning about why I did what I did last time. Why didn't I do that for a perfect circle? Who knows? This is the joy of my channel. You just watch me be an idiot and then figure it out. It's very on brand. I hope this works. So now I can do what I did last time, but I can go all the way through. Okay. Well, you got a lot of holes. I can't believe I spend such a long time on stupid, stupid things. I like to hold off on the critical thinking until I've done a bunch of work on something. Oh, that is not a perfect circle. Surf surf All right, I gotta go feed the mice. <laughs> this is turning out so well. <laughs> oh, it's not gonna spin perfectly in a circle. 
that's all the best time. Oh my god! Um, alright, well, this might have been just naive and silly of me, but it was fun. I made this little fence thing. I realized after making it that I should probably Google what sticks are toxic or what's not and okay and safe to chew on for little mice. And also realized that wood glue is probably also toxic. So I just wanna stick these two things in here just to see what they look like. I think it turned out pretty cute. I'll probably make it again with non-toxic sticks and non-toxic glue. But for now, I'm just gonna see how they turned out. This did not turn out. I realized that it's too heavy to be a wheel. I put the little thing in and it just kind of hangs and it's too heavy to run on. But it's a pretty cute little Heidi cubby thing. So I'm gonna just use it as that and stick it in here also. Oh, that's kind of cute. I don't know. I think if I make more stuff like that, it's gonna be really cute. I just have to figure out, you know, my non-toxic stuff. I'm bringing a mouse to the park. <laughs> First mouse release of the season. Baby mice still doing great. They are in their little cage napping. But yeah, I found this rascal in one of the live traps last night. And he is the biggest mouse I have ever caught. He's a big fella. He's cute, I named him Harvey. He seems like a gentle soul. He's not tried very hard to escape or anything, which normally I feel like they get so panicky. Harvey, you're so cute. I'm taking him to the park to release him. Oh, hi, are you saying hi? Of course you're eating a goldfish over the blueberries. Bring, bring him closer to heaven's door, we're gonna be stepped by. It's either that or the 